Hi, I'm the product spokesperson for Just-in-Time Apps, and today I'm going to do a demo of StormSpy uh, and also give you uh, um, some couple uh, pointers on Tornado Spy and Hill Spy as well. Um, StormSpy is an app that includes both Tornado Sightings and Hill Sightings, so it's basically Tornado Spy and Hill Spy combined. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. So when we first open up StormSpy, uh, we're brought to a page, um, navigation page, that will uh, list all your options. Uh, the first thing you'll see is that uh, you can go to a track sightings page and that's going to display your uh, tornadoes or, or hell sightings uh, within about an eight hour uh, window, within the past eight hours. Um, for tornado spy, it's just going to display tornadoes. For hell spy, it's going to display uh, just hell sightings. But storm spy contains them both. Uh, the next thing you can do is report a tornado sighting. That's going to be based on uh, your current location. Uh, you can also report a hell sighting. And in settings, uh, that's where you can set up your, your email alerts, um, You know whether you want to receive alerts for hail or tornado sightings. And you can also see a uh, current radar loop um, for the US. That's only for the US. And and also the same thing as a warning map. Um, that's going to be a county by county warning map for the entire U.S. And then after that, we have a, a tornado and hail forecasts uh, for the next 24 hours, and also uh, for uh, two days from now. And then there's also a, a help page um, give you some hints along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the track sightings page. So when we get here, um, we just see a map of the U.S. and uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can get a better better view of what's going on. Uh, you can move around just like a, a Google map and um, when you first start up it's going to show your current location and if you want to see tornado or hell sightings uh, you have to click the refresh button. So right now it says it's, file, it's found uh, seven sightings in my search area um, with at least 39% reliability. Um, you set your reliability, your minimum reliability uh, on the settings page. I'll get more into that a little bit later. So go ahead and click through that. Um, I've got a lot of tornadoes in Louisiana right now. Um, and we can click on these sightings. We can actually zoom in get get a better view. Zoom in there. Um, and you can click on these individual sightings and you're going to have two different uh, types of sightings. You have NOAA sightings, which are the official sightings uh, for the National Weather Service. Um, and you can see the date and, and reliability. NOAA sightings are usually 90%. They're, they're the most reliable, although they're not always 100%. You know, sometimes they'll uh, um, have to go back and correct their reports. So we can view more details about the sighting. And, uh, you know, I'll give you date, time. Uh, a reliability, you know, 0.9, uh, that's 90%, um, and then the coordinate, and then also a note. Uh, note is pretty good about giving a detailed notes about the different sightings. So here, this is just a damage report. Um, there's not really any storm uh, around the area at the time of the sighting. Um, however, when there, uh, some of the reports are done in real time and. Uh, you'll see a nice uh, nice storm system. This is a, a snapshot um, of the radar at the time of the sighting. And that's only available in Storm Spy with Tornado Spy and Hell Spy, you're not gonna see that. Then we have another, uh, another sighting here. And so that sighting was fairly close. Um, it was, looked like it was done right after the storm, so I'm guessing the, the tornado is somewhere along there, along that edge. Um, so I'll go back here. Um, and today I don't think we had any any hill sightings, uh, but we can take a look. So I'm just going to hit refresh. No, we don't have any hill sightings today. Um, but I think there were some yesterday, so we can get a better look out here. And those little two circles just represent uh, uh, your fingers uh, as you zoom in and zoom out. I'm doing this on a um, 
uh, iPhone simulator, so uh, that's just the circles are a representation of my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh here, make sure we didn't have any hell today. Um, so this shows another feature. So I can uh, search by date. Um, so today is the 5th. I know there were sightings yesterday, so I'm going to go year year. So that's 2011. Uh, month was 03, and the date was day was 04. So hit done there and refresh. Uh, found four sightings. Looks like we got some in uh, Missouri. Um, so we got more NOAA sightings here. And uh, you can also uh, view details like you could uh, with the health sighting reports. Um, so three quarter inch uh, hail at that point. Um, another thing I wanted to show you was uh, user sightings. Uh, didn't got some got a user sighting today, but um, didn't get any photos unfortunately. But um, so that we had, we looked at the NOAA sightings before. Um, the user sightings usually they're ranked a little bit lower so uh, in your settings page you can basically filter out all, all the user sightings if you want but disadvantage with that is user sightings are usually um, a lot faster than NOAA sightings they're reported immediately you know once someone sees it they click the button um, and you get the alert immediately um, but the disadvantage with the, the user sightings is that uh, they're not always uh, perfectly accurate. You know, you got amateur storm spotters that uh, may not always uh, report at the right time. So you can also um, view details on that and you can either uh, report as false or confirm as true. Uh, you know, if you don't think the reporting is correct, uh, report as false. If, if you think it's a good sighting, uh, you can confirm it and, and uh, increase the reliability. And every time you do that, you affect the reliability of the person who reported the storm. So, you know, if they do a lot of false reports, they're eventually going to be filtered out by everyone. Another thing here is uh, we can set our alert area up. Uh, so I'm just clicked view alert area. I'm um, going to zoom out a little bit here. So that green area is my uh, my alert area. You can hide or uh, show it. Um, so today I was just interested in uh, in Louisiana, but um, you can really pick any region you want, uh, any size you want. Uh, for example, if I want the entire U.S., I can save my alert area, and it's going to save everything that you currently see. And so I'm going to hide it. Um, you know, maybe maybe you don't want the entire U.S. Maybe you just want your state, uh, so you can kind of do that as well. Um, so show alert area. That's going to be everything. So I save it, and at that time, it's got, it's also going to look for sightings in the area, um, but it's also going to save your area as well. So so now we just have Kansas, um, and a little bit of Oklahoma and uh, and Nebraska. So you can do whatever you want with that, um, and that's going to apply for both your tornado and hell sightings. If we switch to hell, it stays the same. It's going to go back to uh, the main page, um, so you can report a sighting. And so here um, it says we're ready to report. Our GPS has a fix. You know, on your actual phone, it might take a couple seconds to get the fix. Um, you can write a note, uh, take a photo of the storm or the tornado, um, or hell. Uh, we've got some good pictures of, of hell sightings. Um, and then when you're done, you just hit I spy. And same thing goes for, for the hell sightings. Pretty much the same, same thing, same format of the page.